good morning today is Thursday March 7th and um, I didn't get my walk in this morning I um, had every intention of walking but then we had snow again last night so there was a, like a light dusting of snow on the ground uh, it's pretty much melted now um, I do suffer from time to time from vertigo and um, I had a major attack this morning <laughs> so uh, I I'll be honest with you, I'm afraid to go for a walk. I'm afraid that I'm going to faint or something. So uh, I'm just trying to stick close to the house today. Um, it, it was something I was diagnosed with hmm, maybe six, seven years ago. I had a really bad attack. I had to go to the hospital even because uh, it really it scared me. I thought I was having a stroke. And uh, they did a lot of tests on that, and then they determined that I occasionally suffer from vertigo. So... Um, once again, I'll survive. I'm not worried about it. But uh, anyway, we have birthdays today. Well, we have one birthday today. It's Juanita's birthday. So Juanita, you know you get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Juanita. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. <sighs> Always nice. Tomorrow is, would have been my brother-in-law's uh, birthday, but he's passed. But that was Bruce. I've told you about Bruce in the past. Um, he was a good guy. I really loved him a lot. I really miss him a lot, too. He was, he took such good care of my sister. He was such a good dad, good husband, good brother. He just checked all the boxes. He really did. So um, I'll probably be singing him a birthday song tomorrow anyhow, even though I know he'll he'll, he'll hear me up in heaven. <laughs> I, I don't have a doubt of that. And then uh, yesterday, which I didn't realize until today, was um, Tom uh, Pearson's birthday. So, Tom, you know you get a birthday song. I mean, it's a day late, a dollar short, but you still get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, wait a minute. i got to start that again. I, if that's how I should have sung it yesterday. But, no, that was yesterday. Today's today. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, dear Tom. Happy belated birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. I know he had a good day. I know that. I don't know that, but I know that he did. Um, and I wanted to thank Joan Johnson for my beginning quote that I have on my thumbnail. Um, sometimes you have to give up something good to get something great. And I know I shouldn't think of food in such a way, but I love my Girl Scout cookies. I love my Susie Q's. I love my cake and ice cream. I love all of that stuff. To me, that's good. It's good stuff. I know that it's not good for me, but it's good. It's good stuff. I can't help it. It's just the way I, I, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm going to miss it. I really, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to miss it for the next seven weeks or whatever is it. I think it's the 20, I don't know. What day is it? No, it's April. It's at the, what the, is it the 21st, I think is Easter Sunday. But anyway, I got a long way to go before I'm going to have anything that I consider good. I know that's terrible and this is a weight loss channel and I shouldn't be talking about cakes and cookies and candy and pies and Susie Q's and things like that in the sense that it's good, but um, it really hits the spot. <laughs> it really does. But the great results I'm going to see on Easter Sunday when I get weighed, or actually on Holy Saturday, I'm going to have met my goal of losing my 10 pounds over Lent and... Uh, and that'll be the great outcome that'll be that'll be so worth giving up the good food. Um, you know I love my fruit. I'm still eating my fruit. And I, and I like vegetables. You know, it's not like I don't like all the other foods. I do. I really do. But um, I can find that... I can find... I find that sometimes just that occasional cookie just hits the spot and kind of satisfies other all, everything that you ever wanted just that one cookie just gives you all the joy and just that one little tiny cookie but then that same one tiny little cookie can send you down the wrong path and it can send you spiraling it really can so there's a good thing and there's a bad thing to all foods and you know nobody ever got fat eating watermelon but you get fat eating cookies and there's just something some kind of injustice in that I think it just doesn't seem fair but that doesn't mean that you can't have cookies it's just you have to rein them in and learn not to let them control your life and be be satisfied with 
the healthier foods. And, um, and I know that you can make like a healthy cookie and like the vegans and the vegetarians have like healthy cookies and you can make like a brownie with black beans and, and things like that. I understand all of that, but, um, I'm just being truthful to who I am. I'm speaking my own truth. I will always take a, a fresh baked cookie over a vegan cookie. I just will. I really will. So now I'm realizing that you're going to realize that this isn't good morning. <laughs> this is good afternoon because I forgot to do my opening this morning and I didn't notice the time and you're going to hear my clocks chiming in the background and you're going to say, oh my goodness, it's three o'clock and Sandy said good morning. Is she up really early or what? <laughs> no, I've been up for a while. Um, but anyway, so I, I am going to give up my my thoughts, good food, um, for Lent, and, I, and I'm going to be fine with it. I'm going to make healthier versions of my good food because for dinner I plan on having um, some pizza. And I'm going to make a homemade pizza, and it's going to be high in points, but I'm going to load it with vegetables to kind of offset it. The dough, if I could only eat half of the pizza, that it would be less points. It would only be like seven or eight. If I went out to buy a piece of pizza... They say in the in the app it's ten points, um, but I'm not gonna go out and get a pizza and just eat one slice. And I'm not even gonna go to a because we have a, a couple. Um, I don't know what they're called. They're like delicatessens that have pizza that you can buy them by the slice. I know I'm not gonna go in there and buy one slice of pizza. I, I know who I am, so I'm gonna make this pizza, and um, I'm just gonna load it up with some peppers and mushrooms and my turkey pepperoni and enjoy every bite of it and not feel the least bit of guilt because um, truth be told, I'd rather go to Jet's Pizza and get a, a regular pizza made by somebody else because it's gonna be it's gonna be way better. But this is gonna be a good pizza and I'm gonna be fine with it, I really am. I will show you my breakfast because I've already eaten it, but let me tell you, I think I did pretty well with my breakfast. Uh, I do plan on trying to stay a little under my 23 points a day. I might just hit exactly on my 23 points today, but I'm fine with that. I was um, tomorrow, because uh, I kind of fast somewhat on Fridays during Lent. And by fasting, I don't mean not eating. I just mean not eating any, only eating two meals um, and not using a lot of uh, calories. And I, I, I've always done that for Lent. I've always, if you've followed me for a while, you can remember that last year during Lent that I pretty much ate very lightly on Fridays and it's just it's just a sacrifice that I make it's just once again I will survive I'm like Gloria was it Gloria Gaynor I will survive <laughs> because I know I will um so anyway I'm gonna go out and see if I got any mail I know I know I got mail I know it's gonna be bad mail well it's not bad mail but you know like bills that you gotta pay I never get that check. Remember the millionaire, when the millionaire would come to your house and give you a check for a million dollars? Yeah, I haven't seen him around this neighborhood. <laughs> I don't see him at all. Or Queen for a Day. I used to like to watch Queen for a Day. But, I don't know. Anyway. Any hooser. That's it. That's all. Why are you hanging around here? Haven't I bored you yet? I think I have. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, for breakfast, I'm going to have a couple pieces of toast, a hard-boiled egg, with some peanut butter and jelly, my tea and my grapefruit. I'm going to use the Smucker's Jam, Smucker's Preserves, and some Jeff peanut butter, and some delightful uh, bread by Sara Lee. So I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. I wanted to thank Sharon Heffron for the quote. If I quit now, I'll soon be back to where I started. And where I started was, I was wishing I was where I am now. Uh, it's a six point breakfast, zero for my egg, banana, oh, I forgot my banana. Uh, banana, grapefruit, tea, and water. Two points for my two slices of Sara Lee multigrain bread. Three points for a tablespoon of strawberry preserves and one point for a teaspoon of peanut butter. Six points, so I have 17 points left for my dinner. Well, I've been looking forward to this all day. This is off of my, let me show you. Monkey plate. So anyway, I used uh, a quarter cup of the uh, low moisture part skim 
mozzarella cheese for two points. I have 28 grams of turkey pepperoni for one point. This is where it gets you. I know I could have it on a wellness wrap. I wanted a pizza dough. If I would have only, if I only eat half, it's uh, six points. But if I eat the whole, uh, five points rather, if I eat the whole one, it's 11. I'm gonna eat the whole one. And then um, the pizza sauce is one point for a quarter cup. Unsweetened iced tea. So uh, it's 11 points for the, the pizza crust, two points for my mozzarella cheese, one point for my 28 grams of turkey pepperoni, one point for my quarter cup of pizza sauce, and zero for my tea, the green and red peppers, and the mushrooms. So it's a 15 point slice of pizza. I still have two points I'm carrying over. Um, I did have an apple. Let me show you, I wrote it down there earlier, but I didn't film it then, but it, that's what it looked like with a glass of water. Almost looks like a monkey nose, doesn't it? <laughs> oh well, let's go eat. Well, that pizza hit the spot. It was really good. It's funny how when you get your mindset that you're going to be a little bit hungry, um, that you can, it doesn't bother you as much. I, I, I was fine today. I had the breakfast, I had the apple for a snack, and then I had my dinner. And it was more than enough, and it filled me up, and I'm fine. I just, uh, I think it's just part of having the right mindset. Uh, and like I said yesterday, I have to feel a little bit of hunger to re remember that I'm on a, I almost said diet, but I'm on a program to lose weight. <laughs> so in order to lose some weight, I can't always be full. And I know that the WW Weight Watchers, whatever you want to call it, they tell you that you're not supposed to be hungry. And I understand that. I really do understand that. But um, I think that I was having like a small little hunger pain and I thought I had to eat. And I realized over... The last two days but that's not necessarily true I mean I was hungry yesterday somewhat but not starving and I was hungry somewhat today but not starving I, I managed I was doing fine I watched the weather and it's supposed to be 50 on Sunday and then it's supposed to be like in the 30s and 40s next week so I'm hoping I'm hoping and I really would have walked today if it wouldn't have snowed last night and I probably could have walked this afternoon but uh a little bit of my anxiety kicked in, and so I didn't do that. But I feel fine now. I feel completely... It just comes and goes that quickly. And I haven't had an attack, like I said, in a couple years. But, uh, you know, it happens. And what am I going to do? Um, I did want to tell you that yesterday... <clears throat> I'm not going to mention names. But uh, somebody had commented to me... that had one of my friends. One of my good friends had uh, texted me about something and uh, and I didn't take any offense at it at all but it I you know I it was just the their opinion and I somewhat agreed with their opinion but uh, I know I'm talking confusing but I don't want to let you know what was going on with the conversation but um, I thought we had it all resolved <clears throat> and that, uh, you know, I had stated my point of view in that. And then my son, so I, that was the last person I texted. And so then my son, Danny called or texted me to tell me that Midnight Run was on, which is one of mine and Dave, Danny's favorite movies. And so we were, he sent a quote to me of his favorite line from the movie. And I sent him my favorite quote from the movie. And... The quote, and I'm not going to say it, but it is my favorite quote if you've ever seen the movie, when Charles Grodin is talking to Robert De Niro and he's just, yuck, 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 and, on. and so then Robert De Niro says, well, I have two words for you. Shut the up. <laughs> well, I typed in exactly what he said, thinking I was sending it to Danny because that's just, you know, I swear around my kids. They've grown up with me swearing. You would be surprised at the, the words that come out of my mouth. I'm not bragging about it, but... It's just, I told you this story before that Jim's dad once asked Danny, um, have you ever heard your father swear? And he said, yeah, five or six times maybe. And he says, oh, really? He says, have you ever heard your mother swear? And she says, yeah, probably about five or 6,000 times. <laughs> because, um, I don't know. It's not something I'm proud of, but it's just something that I do. And I know it's not ladylike, and I know it's shocking and all that, but... Um, I don't know. But anyway, that was my favorite line in the movie. So then I sent the text and I wasn't hearing back from Danny. And then I looked again and I thought, and I looked and it was from the friend 
I had just sent it to the friend. So it kind of implied like I didn't want her opinion <laughs> on what she was doing. So then I tried to FaceTime her and uh, she didn't answer. And so then she, then she put, sorry, I can't come to the phone. You know, you get that message. And so then I thought, oh, I better text her to let her know. So then I texted her back and then she said, sorry, I can't, I can't get to the phone right now. And I thought, oh my gosh, I really oh, pissed her off. I really have made her mad. But then um, <clears throat> she did text me and said, no worries. It was fine that she knew, that she understood. And that wasn't anything directed at her or anything like that. So you know who you are. <laughs> You know, I didn't mean any harm by it, but um, it just shows you that, you know what, you got to check when you're sending a text, if you're sending it to the right person. Denise is famous for, um, my, with me and my sister Mary and Denise and Michael, my brother, we a lot of times send group texts. And Denise, will, when she sends a group text, will always forget what string she's on, and then she'll, she'll send the text to the group of us, whether she wants us to hear it or not. And that is, that's what we call an annoyance call. So I kind of figure it was because about this time of night you get all the telemarketers. Uh, and I'm on the do not call list, but I still get all these calls. So anyway, so Denise just wants to say something like, I'm going to the store, do you need anything? She'll send it as a group text and then like, well, I'll make fun of her <laughs> because she does it all the time. She doesn't do it once in a while. She does it all the time. <laughs> but anyway, um... So tomorrow, um, like I said, it's uh, Fridays or like Ash Wednesday to me. Fridays during Lent, I um, I eat very sparsely. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to eat yet. I do know that I'm going to have for dinner, I'm going to have a tuna sandwich like I did yesterday and the cottage cheese like I did yesterday. But I'll probably have pineapple with it because I don't have any more tomatoes and I'm not planning on going to the store till Saturday. And then um, I don't have any berries. No berries. So I know I'll have an egg and a banana and some grapefruit, and my tea. And I might have a bagel. I don't know. I haven't decided. But that'll be it for tomorrow. So uh, I will see you guys in the morning. I know I'll be better tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will be somewhat nice. Maybe I can get out for a walk, but I'm not holding my breath. Hoping for that. But um, anyway, give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the morning.